All right, so creatine has been around for decades, used mostly to build muscle and boost strength, and there are a lot of studies to prove it does a really good job at that. But now researchers are studying what it might do for our bodies beyond the gym. So we're bringing in Ty Steele, joins us now with a new study on creatine and cognition. How's this work? Yeah, pretty exciting stuff here. It's one of the most studied supplements in the world, but mainly for athletic performance, as you just mentioned. What makes this new study so exciting is that researchers are testing creatine in people with Alzheimer's disease. And the early results are very promising. Carly Britton has been an athlete most of her life, even sprinting for Michigan back in college. Now she owns her own gym, Diligent Fitness in Detroit, training mostly women. Of course, she teaches her clients about proper lifting technique. But she also tells them about her favorite supplement, I use creatine because I lift heavy. Um, I lift heavy three to four days a week, and so I want to feel nice and recovered um, after those sessions. She takes five grams of micronized creatine monohydrate before every workout for recovery, strength, and to build lean muscle. I think when people hear creatine, they automatically think that's something that only bodybuilders need to do. Um, and so I try to tell women, it does not cause the bulk that people think that it does. Um, creatine is just sort of your battery charger. It helps you to go into the gym and work really hard to build the muscle that you're going to need um, throughout uh, midlife and beyond. And creatine offers distinct benefits for women, since women naturally have lower baseline creatine stores than men. So supplementation leads to a greater relative increase in performance, and not just in the gym. Due to its muscle building properties, creatine is generally something you'd see people using in a gym setting. But new research shows it may actually help an entirely different part of the body. So taking it through that powdered form is going to be most highly absorbable. In a small groundbreaking clinical trial from the University of Kansas Medical Center, researchers discovered a surprising benefit from creatine. Henry Ford Health Registered Dietitian Ruth Franklin helps us break down the findings. And that study found that those patients who were taking creatine had improvement in their cognitive function, their brain health. So improved speech, memory, reading, attention, and several domains of the brain saw gains in just a matter of eight weeks. That's crazy. Yeah. Can you explain? Can you explain how that how that could even be possible? Our body uses about 95% of that creatine to go into our muscle cells. After that 95%, there's still 5% left, right? Where does that 5% go? It goes to our organs with the most demand, which is our brain. While this was a small uncontrolled pilot study, the researchers say the findings justify launching larger, more rigorous trials. In the meantime, if you or your family member is battling Alzheimer's, should they immediately jump on creatine? What should they do with this information? So definitely talk to your family member's doctor, see if this would be a great option for them to maybe see that potential um, improvement in cognitive abilities. And if future studies confirm these effects, creatine supplementation could become a low cost way to help with Alzheimer's care, boosting brain energy and slowing cognitive decline. Scan the QR code on the screen right there. That'll take you to the study and more information about it, as well as helpful blog on the other benefits of creatine. I have a lot of questions because I said Good. Have you seen creatine in Target. Yep. I know I see that now. What kind? Of, you said micronized. Micronized. That's so. just that's just the powderized form. Okay. And you want creatine monohydrate. That's the most studied version. So there's a lot of benefits beyond just the cognition and the muscle growth too, especially for women. That's the good news so I don't, for our women viewers that are watching right now. It helps with uh, bone density issues. Okay. It helps with obviously the brain cognition. Also, it helps with menopause okay. and menstrual cycle yeah. issues. So there's so many benefits that they're seeing from creatine. And the reason it helps women more is that women don't have as much creatine. So when you start supplementing, you're giving yourself more of what you need. Creatine is a natural substance that our livers actually make, and you can find it in beef. So you're just giving yourself more of what it already oh, needs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking I had to be... No, muscles. it just helps. It helps build lean muscle. <laughs> I run and I'm trying to do the arm weight things. I'm trying yeah. to, but you I'm don't not need doing to be well. a weightlifter of any kind okay. to see the benefits of creatine. But if you are a weightlifter, you'll definitely see benefits there as well. That's good to know. All right, there we go. Yeah. I like this. This yeah. helps me out. Yeah. You know what happens. Thanks, Tom. Way to the gym. Let's go, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you yeah, notice, they did almost a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I can see it. Uh -huh. I can totally see it. <laughs> we can see yours through your jacket. Yeah, so we know. Someday I'll be like that. <laughs>